I, I gotta say, man, one of the things that pulled my heartstrings, especially in this movie, was this the this the scene that Ty. I was talking to him about this, you know, his perspective of filming it, but you reading the letter for the first time with your son running around the baseball. Yeah. You know, he was having fun with you. Ooh, I get goosebumps, <laughs> man. Like just yeah. Talk about like obviously you want to make sure you're great, you're making great content for the film, but this is something that means is so near and dear to you. How did you kind of balance like taking in that moment, but also making sure you're doing, you know, what's right for the, I guess, the film crew, right? Yeah. And they were, I would say first, Ty Roberts and Houston Hill and Lane Garrison and San Rio Films as a whole were extremely patient with me and were extremely understanding and we're not pushy at all. I think they deserve a lot of credit there because. I found that letter when I was around 18 years old and I never read that. It's been call it, I don't know, 16 ish years. Um, and so, uh, but I thought it was a neat moment. I had my son in my arms and um, uh, it was cool. <laughs> uh, kind of the last words my dad uh, got to say to me. And I re I've read the letter a few more times. It's got great principles, call it 10, 10 things he wanted to teach me. Obviously he didn't get to teach me all of them. His life was cut short for him, but he got to teach me a few of them and I'll, I, I'll do my best to teach my boys what he wanted to teach me. And um, I think it's really neat that my dad thought to do that too. Uh, I, it's encouraged me. I've now written a couple letters to both my boys. I would encourage all fathers out there to write letters to their sons or to their daughters 